Whenever I go to my local Japanese restaurant, I love to order salmon aburi. Aburi is flame seared, so in this case it's going to be salmon. And instead of doing this in small pieces just like sushi, I'm going to serve this as a main meal and top it with a gorgeous kaolette salad. Now for those who don't know what kaolette is, it's a cross between Russell sprouts and kale. It is fantastic. So before we get on the salad, we need to get our rice on. So sushi rice, and I have about one and a half cups of rice here. I've washed it really well. That goes into a pot, along with two cups of water and a pinch of salt. Heat goes on. And we're going to cook this using the absorption method. So it's going to come up to the boil. I'll turn it down and then the lid goes on. And it's going to cook for about 10 minutes or until all the water has evaporated. Now on to a really nice dressing that's going to go with our kaolette salad. This is not traditional by any means, but I tell you what, it goes so nicely with the salmon and the kaolettes. So into a bowl, we've got some mirin along with some tahini. So it's got that really nice sesame, almost creamy flavour. Pour that in. One tablespoon of honey, a splash of sesame oil, and for the saltiness, we need some soy. So about two tablespoons of light soy for this. And mix that together until all the ingredients are combined. You want it to be almost the consistency of pouring cream. That is just right. Now onto our salad, into a bowl. I'll add our gorgeous kaolettes and just have a look at these. Aren't they just beautiful? It's a fantastic hybrid. I love how they've got that tinge of purple between each leaf. I also love their flavour. They've got this gorgeous earthy, almost nutty flavour. I'll add some onion, just some fine slivers of onion and some pickled ginger. Oh, it's my favourite too. So we'll just finely slice that and in it goes. All right, all we need to do is dress that, but I'll do that at the last minute. So we'll pop that near our dressing. The rice has come up to the boil, so it's important now to turn the heat all the way down, lid on, and just let that keep cooking. Once it's finished cooking, you do want to stand it for about 10 minutes, so do remember that. And in the meantime, we can prepare our salmon. You'll need a nice sharp knife for this, and I want really thin slices of our salmon, just like that because these gorgeous thin pieces are going to be draped over the rice and then seared. So I'll just thinly slice this while we wait for our rice to cook. Okay, our rice is cooked and I've just allowed it to rest for that 10 minutes. I'll take the lid off for a moment and add some of our rice vinegar. So a little splash of that. Very traditional when you're cooking sushi rice to add the vinegar and just really gently fold that vinegar through without breaking the rice grains up too much because we don't want it to turn into a mush. So a little respect for the sushi rice here. Pop the lid back on just for a moment while we dress our kaolette salad. Look at these gorgeous colours. Isn't that fantastic? It's going to taste so good with this nutty, sweet, salty dressing. I'll drizzle a few tablespoons of that dressing over the top. And I'll just grab myself a fork just to really gently fold everything together. Let's start dressing the plate. So use about a three quarter to a cup size mould. So I'm just using a little bowl just like this one. And we want to fill it up with our rice. And just ensure that there's no air bubbles. So press down on it. And we're essentially wanting to make a dome shape. And this is what we're going to drape our fish over. So press that down and I'll tip that straight onto our presentation plate. Oh, look at that, isn't that great? And we're going to drape our gorgeous thin pieces of salmon over the top. And just take your time doing this to ensure that all of that rice is covered. Now for some extra sauce on this before we start searing this off, some teriyaki sauce. 
I'll place this into a bowl just to make it easier to brush. And this is going to help us get that really gorgeous caramelization all over the fish. And now, time to blowtorch. And if you don't have a blowtorch, you can still do this recipe. What I'd recommend is just placing the salmon pieces onto a tray under a hot, hot grill in your oven and just lightly sear it before you place it on your rice. Okay, but these are a fantastic investment. I'm just going to turn that on and just really gently blowtorch it until it starts to caramelise. I don't want to cook the fish all the way through. I just want that light colour. Oh, that smells so good. The final touches, our kaolette salad with that gorgeous dressing. I'm just going to use my hands here just to gently and delicately place this on the top. You can let it drop on the sides. Is this traditional? No, but I think my Japanese friends would still be quite impressed with this. It tastes sensational. Jeez, I'm proud of that one. I think you're going to love it.